Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Thank you for joining me. I have a great video today on Zoom. I'm going to discuss creating and using meeting templates. And if you're wondering why would I want to use this, whenever you set up a meeting in Zoom, you have a lot of options to pick from. One example is if I'm meeting with people externally, I may want to enable the waiting room. Um, generate my meeting ID automatically. I don't want to use my personal meeting ID. I may want to make sure I don't record it, so turn that feature off. Um, there are other settings, so that's meeting with people outside my organization. But then if I'm meeting with people internally, I want to enable join before host, so no waiting room because I already know these people. Uh, we may want to record the meeting automatically to the cloud. I can set the time, um, there are other features you can do. So whatever features you're turning on and find yourself frequently using, you should have a meeting template. So I've already signed in to my paid account and I've got good news for you. I've already tested this with my free account and it works with Zoom's free account, which is technically called a basic account. So I've signed into zoom.us. I'm over here on meetings. So to create a meeting template, you go and schedule a meeting first. So schedule a meeting, because I don't have any meetings scheduled. I'm going to call this budget meeting. Uh, for right now, for the description, I'm going to just type in test. Real life, you should fill this in. I'm going to change this meeting um, to just being a 30-minute meeting. So that's one feature we're going to come back and check when I use the template that this is only a 30 minute meeting. Do I need people to register? No, this is my internal meeting. Meeting ID, generate automatically. Do you want a password? Yes, I'm gonna take one. Here we go. I'm gonna make sure my video is turned on and the participants video is turned on when the meeting starts. You can always turn your video on and off. Audio, both works. This is an internal meeting, so I'm going to allow people to join before host. No external people are being invited. I don't need the waiting room, so I turned off the waiting room. And I am going to record this meeting automatically to the cloud. So several features, we're going to come back and check. The recording, enable join before host, video on for both people, automatically generated in a 30 minute meeting save the meeting so i haven't done anything unusual yet except set up a meeting but if you scroll now to the bottom i have the option to save this meeting as a meeting template sure wants me to name it i'm just going to make this up internal meeting i'm just you can have multiple templates so I'm naming it internal meeting, 30 minutes. Just so you know this, when I schedule this meeting, I said it's only gonna be 30 minutes. Zoom doesn't care if you only go 15 minutes and Zoom doesn't care if you go for an hour and 30 minutes. It is just the default. It's not gonna cut off. Save as template. Perfect. So now back to meetings. So a week later, I need to schedule another internal meeting and again, it's for 30 minutes, and I know it's for internal people only. So I'm gonna hit schedule a new meeting. I know it says my meeting, I can come up here and type something right here, but here is used as a template. So this is just a Chris Bernard tip. If you know you're gonna use the template, look right here, random text and topic, random text in the descriptional description, if you know you're going to use a template, it will override whatever you typed in the topic and description, which it just did. So that's why I would have left those blank. So this is a HR meeting. More text. Good. Here we go. 30 minutes. It's still for 30 minutes. I'm going to change the time though to 3 o'clock. 30 minutes. Um, it is doing a meeting password, which we said, perfect. Host is on, participant is on, we said that. 
enable join before host is turned on, and also record automatically to the cloud. So this is just saving me a lot of time right here. Because I use the template, I'm, I do want to point this out. I was actually looking for this. The option of personal meeting ID versus generate automatically isn't even showing because there's no need, need to show it. So this all works. Save. So now when I go back to meetings over on the left, I have two Zoom meetings scheduled. One of them was based on a template HR meetings. So you can have as many templates as you want. So I could go and schedule a new meeting with some external customers. Uh, join before host would be disabled. I would turn on the waiting room. I would do a password. Uh, the recording is up to you, but save that as a template. And then if you're saying, well, I got certain customers that are external customers, uh, but we do this all the time. We're always having these regular meetings. Well, make a template for them. So you can have as many templates as you want. If you need to edit a meeting template, right up here, there's the one I made. I actually cleared this out before I started this. I actually had four in here, but I deleted them all just to go from scratch. How many can you have total? 40. So that is it. I want to keep this short and right to the point. So there is meeting templates in Zoom. Works for both the paid account and the basic or free account. If you have any questions about Zoom, let me know. Also, we have continued to update the Zoom Resource Center on my website. Keyboard shortcuts, a uh, bunch of videos, but here are the images that people ask for, the business images to use as a background. They are right in here. Thank you. Have a great Father's Day.